Hello, Farm View Little Warrior students. This is your coach, Mr. Salinda. So today it's a brand new day again. So we're going to do fun PE games once more, just like the previous one. So as you can see, I have with me a box full of different kinds of balls, with different kinds of color and sizes. And of course, I have also with me a tennis racket and a bean bag. So all these materials I'm going to use in our fun PE games. So first fun PE games is the 100 catch. So I need to throw a ball up into the air, then I need to catch it with one hand. So I'm going to do that one alternately. I'm going to use first my right hand, then later on my left hand. Okay? Okay, first I'm going to use this one, the tennis ball, as you can see. So I need to throw this in the air. I need to catch it with my left hand. Then once the left hand will throw it, the right hand will catch it also. Okay, we're going to do this one within six counts. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay. So, it's a simple activity. You can easily catch it because it's a small ball, a tennis ball. So this time, I'm going to use this one, the bigger size of a volleyball. So, we're going to throw this one up into the air. Then we're going to catch it with one hand. One. Two. Three, four, five, last one, six. Okay. This time, I'm going to use my both hands in catching the tennis ball. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five, six, okay. This time, I'm going to use the bigger one. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Kids, you can do this one at home. You can throw as high as you can. And of course, you can play even your, inside your house, in your backyard, front yard, or any park that is very close to your place. Okay. Up next is, I need to bounce the ball and catch it. Okay. Again, you see my right and left hand, and of course, both hands will catch it. Okay. First, right hand will catch it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. This time, the left hand will catch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this time, both hands will catch as I bounce on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm done with that. Again, I'm going to use the bigger ball. So let's compare if we can catch the small ball or the bigger ball future. Okay, kids, let's continue the activity throwing and catching challenge. 
So the next activity is I need to throw the ball up into the air. Then after that, I need to catch it. But before I'm going to catch, I need to flap three times. Okay. You can do this one also at home. So you can throw the ball as high as you can so that you have the time to clap three times. So do this one as quick as possible. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I was able to make it. And let's see if I want to use again the bigger size of the volleyball. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So next activity is I need to again to throw the ball up into the air. Then before it landed into my hand, I need to touch the ground. Okay. So I'm going to use again this time. A blue color of a baseball. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One and six. Okay. So I was able to catch it and touch the ground at the same time. So I'm going to use again the bigger size of the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay, kids. Next activity is juggling. I need to use my both hands to the left and the right. So I need to pass the ball. So. Do this one alternately. So again, in six counts. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay. Up next is... I'm going to use two balls this time, two tennis balls, orange one and the green one, yellow green. Okay, so I'm going to use one hand only. I hope so I can still manage to do this one. Okay, you can do this one also kids at your own house, even you're inside the house. Okay, so you see, I was able to make it. Okay. This time, I'm going to use my left hand. Okay. So you see kids, I was able to do, I was able to do the juggling with two balls using one hand, my right and left. This time, I need to use three balls, a blue, orange, and a yellow green. Okay, I'm going to use my both hands this time. Okay. You're going to throw the ball one at a time and catch it also. Okay, so I was able to make it, kids. Okay, let's pause for our break. Then after the break, we were going to continue throwing and catching challenge. Okay, up next, kid is doing the throwing and catching once again using the bin bag, and of course, I need to catch the bin bag using the tennis racket. So again, I'm going to use first my right hand. After that one, I'm going to use my left hand this time. Okay. 
So the left hand will turn the bean bag. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm going to switch. This time, left hand, uh, the left hand will catch it, and the right hand will do, want to throw the bean bag. One, two, three, four, five, one last, six. Okay, the see kids, I was able to catch the bean bag using my left and the right hand, so I have tennis racket with you, you have a bean box with you, you can do that one also. If not, you can use an uh, alternative P equipment or materials to do this kind of activity. Okay. This time, I have with me a cone and of course, a baseball. Okay. I need to throw this up into the air, then I need to catch it. You see my left hand. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this time I need to switch. Right hand will cast, left hand will be the one to throw the baseball. One, two, three, four. Five, one last, six. Okay. So again, I was able to use my both hands in catching the balls using this cone. Okay. So you can also do this one. You can substitute the cone, the ball, if you want. So you have a lot of things to use in your house as long as you're going to do fun PE games with your family members. Okay. Okay, kids. So next, acti uh, next activity is bouncing and catching. So I need to use the wall. So I need to bounce the ball on the wall. Then I need to catch it with both hands. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. One last. Six. Okay. So I can easily catch the ball bouncing on the wall. Since I'm going to use my both hands, so let me see if I have the hard time also to do this. When I'm going to use only one hand, this time I need to use the red ball. Okay. So I'm going to use the right hand this time. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay, this time I need to use my left hand. So again, I'm going to use again another four of ball. Okay, so this time I'm going to use the green ball. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, so I was able to do that one. This time, I need to bounce on the floor or I need to bounce on the wall first and I'm going to let the ball bounce on the ground before I need to catch it. Again, I need to catch it with both hands this time. One. Two. So let's see kids, it bounce on the ground before I catch it. Three. Four, five, six. Okay. This time, I need to use my right hand in catching only. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. This time, I'm going to use my left hand in catching. One. Two. Three. 
four, five, one last, six. Okay. So we are done with the bouncing and catching. So we will proceed to the next activity after the break. Okay. Okay, kids. We are done with the throwing and catching challenge. This time we're going to do the shooting in a box challenge. So as you can see, I have with me a box. So inside the box, are different sets of balls with different colors. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the shooting in a challenge or shooting in a box challenge rather within three rounds. First round is closer to the basket. Second round, a little bit farther. And of course, the last one will be the farthest. So hopefully I can make five out of five. So let's start now round one. Okay, as you can see, I'm holding five different color of a ball. Two are red. Okay, first, it's closer to the basket. Went in. Likewise in. Third one, it's also in. Fourth. And finally, the last one, also in. Okay. So I was able to make five out of five since it's too close to the basket. So let me see if I can still duplicate that one even though I'm going to make a little bit farther this time. Okay. Okay, first is in. Two is out. Three is in. Fourth is out, five is in. So I was able to make three out of five kids. So not bad. Okay. So this time I'm going to stay at the farthest part. This will be the round three. Okay. So I hope so I can make even just one or two in with this kind of distance. First one is in. Second one is in. Third one likewise in. Fourth one bounce out. Oh, it bounces and out. Okay. The fifth one is in. Okay. So I was able to make four out of five. This time, let's now proceed to the next level. So I'm going to turn my back away from my basket. So as you can see, I'm too close, but even though I hopefully I can make even just one and going this way, okay, out, okay, went in, okay, out, out as well, okay, bouncing out. So I almost make the yellow ball, the fifth one. Okay. okay. <clears throat> this time, I'm going to do the round two for level two. So I was able to make one while ago, almost two. The yellow ball bouncing out. Okay. Okay, the red ball went in. Okay, bouncing out, almost in while ago. Okay, also bouncing out. Okay, this time I was able to make two out of five kids, so not bad. Since I'm turning my back away from the basket. Okay. This time we will now proceed to round three. Okay, as you can see, I'm in the past the farthest part. I hope so I can make one, even just one, I'm happy now. Okay. Okay. First try. Okay, second try went in. Okay, almost in for the fifth try. So I was able to make one out of five. 
for the third round in level two. So So we are able to finish shooting in the box using five different kinds of balls and I'm so lucky enough that I was able to make one and two balls upon turning my back away from my basket. So you can do this one also at home kids. So you can use a box or a basket. You can use also a balls or else scrambled paper just like the previous activity that we have, the fun PE game before or last week. So again, I hope you enjoyed the activity for today. See you again next week. This is your coach, Scott Sowell. Bye for now, kids. God bless.